Okay, so pretty much every top magician has done a version of, of this trick before. Um, like Dynamo, David Blaine, you know, you name it. There's probably, if, if he's a magician, top level, he's probably done it, okay? Um, so basically, I'm going to riffle through the pack like this. And I want you to see and remember one card, but not this one. That's too obvious, okay? So just see and remember one. Do you see one in your mind? I want you to repeat it over and over and over. Okay, this only works if you really think about it. Okay, watch. Now, I know this is not this one, but watch. One, two, think about it. Did I get it? Now, before we get into the main video uh, that I actually recorded yesterday, um, someone actually commented something that I really want to address, so I'm going to kind of slide in before the main video. Um, and it's it's actually Special Head. Some of you guys requested him to uh, for a reaction, but I had already seen his performance. So I didn't really want to do it and you know, like obviously I've seen it so it's no point. Um, he actually commented on my video and he said, you've got great intros, but personally I'm tired of seeing watch me react to this other actual content someone else did. I know it's easier and YouTube encourages quality over quantity, but do some magic pranks in public or something. Um, now I want to address this really quick. Appreciate the compliment by the way. I, but I loved your performance on America's Got Talent. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. This whole idea behind this channel is kind of more for non-magicians. Um, I, my, the kind of the goal, the goal for this was to, to kind of educate laymen into how much goes into magic, how many, you know, how many hours of practice, all the different aspects that go into magic. Um, and I feel like a lot of people, if they figure out a trick, they just go, ah, oh, well, I know how it's done, it sucks. Oh, that's such a cheap method. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's so many times I've seen that. And it really, really pisses me off, because it's like, it just completely invalidates all the hard work that was put into that trick. And people aren't really looking at it as an art, they're just looking at it, oh, well, if I can figure it out, then it's shit. Um, and, and that's the problem, and I think a lot of it stems from us magicians not really educating the audiences on what really, what we're really, really doing here. Right? Like, we're not in the 1800s anymore. No one's going to believe that we're, you know, using superpowers and, you know, like, if we claim we do, like, we really mind read, and then some guy comes up with the method that we're, that, for the exact trick that we do, of course people are going to hate on us, right? So the whole idea behind this channel was kind of to give an insight into how I watch magic, even if I do know how it's done, and what I'm appreciative and what I'm not appreciative of in the actual videos. Um, so it was kind of like a way of... Like, in my mind, it was a way of, like, kind of educating people that don't really know magic into, you know, how, how it really should be looked upon. Um, now, I do agree with you, like, YouTube is really, really pushing for daily uploads and watch time, right? Lots of watch time. And I'm not going to deny that it definitely helps, you know? Being able to post daily is very useful. Um, and my mentality is, like, if I can post daily, even if it's not my own content, um, you know, if I can actually um, engage with my audience daily that's still more beneficial than only posting my own content once every two weeks, you know what I mean? Or once every week. Because realistically, I work full time and I train four or five days a week. So it's very hard for me to like um, slide, you know, get any amount of time. Like I literally come home from work and I have just the right amount of time to make a reaction video, go to training, come back, you know, edit, upload, sleep. So I, I literally don't have time to make any more original content except for the weekends, which is, you know, it has just been chaotic so far. There's been bad weather. I've been actually meaning to do Street Magic um, performances. So that will be coming. Uh, I just feel like I, you know, I would get more out of it and more people will enjoy, people would enjoy shit more if I actually interact more with my audience as opposed to just doing, you know, the weekly uploads as opposed to daily uploads. Uh, as, you know, if I ever get to do this full time, I will definitely be doing most, you know, original content as much as I can. Uh, that is the goal, but at the moment, it's not really possible. But I appreciate your feedback. Uh, I just wanted to let you know what what was the deal. Uh, respect, mad respect for the performance you did on America's Got Talent. It was really cool. I think it was America's Got Talent, right? Yeah. What's good, peeps? It's your boy Eduard Toda. So another magician on America's Got Talent. You already know I gotta react to it. It's just what I do. So let's see. Vinny Grosso, Grosso, Grosso. I don't know how you say that. Sounds very Italian. Sounds very. Uh, Pizzeria. So let's just uh, let's just see what he has to what he has to perform. What's your name? Vinny Grasso. And what's your day job, Vinny? I am a consultant for a window company. For a window company. Well, window coverings like blinds and shades. Okay. Can you tell me what your act is? I am a magician. Oh God. 
Okay. I love magic. Okay. Well, listen, best of luck, Vindy. Thank you very much. What I'm about to show you is not so much a magic trick as it is a demonstration in skill. I have an incredible, almost mutant-like sense of taste. And I'll prove it in the most scientific way a magician knows how, uh -oh. with a deck of cards. Uh -oh. And a volunteer. Howie, would you mind helping me out? Me? Yeah. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Every time I do this, some people say that I'm, I'm using some sneaky magician tactics to make this happen. So Howie, your job tonight is to make sure I don't. All right. All right, so a deck of cards here. If you could uh, check it out, you can grab it. What I'd like you to do is look through, make sure that all the cards are different. They are all different. What I'd like you to do is just touch a card, any one that you'd like, but don't look at it. Just touch. No. Okay, take that card out. Again, don't look at it and don't even show anyone. Like, all right. Hide it somewhere. Okay. You can put it in a pocket or something. Okay. Yeah. I'd like you to use this flashlight and check my ears out. Make sure there's no listening devices hidden in my ear. Nope. That one? Anything else in there, Howie? Nope. <laughs> Great. You know, I could be wearing a wire, some sort of signaling apparatus. Okay. I'm not. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they don't seem terribly uh, convinced. <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> Howie! Yeah, people are just tuning in now, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Howie, I'm gonna need you to vouch for the rest of the folks. What am I vouching? If you could stand to the side of the screen. Okay. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> he is really naked. This is so uncomfortable. Am I wearing a wire? No! <laughs> oh, no! I can't unsee that. <laughs> Howie, finally, I'm going to eliminate my sense of sight by taping my eyes shut. So I'm going to stick my tongue out. And when I stick my tongue out, I'd like Your you tongue, to... tongue, right? My tongue. OK. I'd like <laughs> you to tap the card on my tongue. Why me? Okay, Howie, with my incredible superhuman-like sense of taste, I can tell that your card is not just red, it's not only a heart, but it's the three of hearts. Show everybody your card. Show it to them. Yes. The three wow. Of hearts. That's good. <laughs> hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you like this and you want to see a lot more, all you um, gotta do is click right here to see yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to see a lot more. I think I'm good with what I saw. <laughs> okay, so that was a really good act. Uh, I, I love this guy. <laughs> um, now that was weird, because I didn't see him do anything. So it's like... Oh, actually, no. No, that makes sense. I know. Now, no. Thinking about it now, I think I know how he does it. But the, the presentation, that was hilarious. That was so good. <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to say to this. I mean, it's not. It's not really much to say. I think. I think the method is pretty s straightforward. Um, it's, it wasn't like it wasn't a super difficult trick, but the the way he presented that, the the, the costume change, you know, the, the the everything. That's that's funny. That's that's really funny. That's. See, that's, that's what I like to see, some good comedy magic some, every now and then, you know, like, too many people take this shit too seriously. Uh, you know, but that, that diffuses the whole situation, you don't even want to know how he does it, how he does it, you know what I mean? Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Follow me on all the social media platforms, so, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Google+, uh, Bebo, 
uh, High Five, you, you feel me? All, 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 the, all the classics, all the classics. Let me know what else to react to in the comments below. Much love, mad respect, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!